All right, since we're, um, since we're bottling today, obviously the wine's the main thing, but I thought I'd do a little bit of talking about um, the various components and packaging that come together to make all this work. We probably spend um, about $100,000 every time we bottle a vintage of wine. Um, and that's not, obviously, that's not including the wine. That's including just what it takes to take the finished wine and put it in a bottle. This is our Merlot bottle and it comes from Italy. These are the corks and that right there is probably about a dollar's worth of cork and we're going to use, I got, I don't know, like 30,000 bucks worth of corks. The corks in the bottle cost about the same thing, about the same amount of money. These are Portuguese, as all corks are. These are the capsules and they're custom to each bottle that we use because I'm ridiculous. I use a different bottle for the Merlot than I do for the Cabernet Blend. They're, they're custom manufactured. They come from Spain. And these labels here come on a roll to the specifications that you want. That's the front label and that's the back label. This case here is, gosh, manufactured in, uh, down there in the East Bay somewhere. We get it from Diablo Valley Packaging. So there's your finished product. Now, there's a lot of debate about everything that goes into packaging and packaging being expensive for wine. I mean, probably most of it is centering around the cork. And there's a lot of stuff that says that maybe screw caps are as good as corks and maybe synthetics are as good as corks. Um, the thing about it is, one of the things that, I, that, that concerns me most in the wine that we make is that it be ageable. Um, and then at last, I mean, our Merlot in particular even, yeah, our Merlot and our Cab, they both ought to be really good in 10 years. And hopefully in the right vintage, they're going to continue to get interesting until they're 20 years old. And the thing we know about cork is people have been putting the same closure in wine for a couple hundred years. And we have uh, bottles of wine that are uh, 100 years old and have a cork in them. And we know the kind of shape that the cork is in. To me, the idea of substituting an unknown for that in wine that starts out um, as good as our wine does and of which aging is such an important part is that's pretty much uh, out of the question. There are aesthetic matters to be considered too. I mean, there are people out there that are putting wine in Tetra packs, um, you know, and you can use a plastic cork instead of a regular cork. But wine is such an aesthetic experience generally that to me, uh, it wouldn't be the same if it didn't come in a beautiful package. Um, and a package with some history and, and some integrity behind it as well. We end, up, we end up spending a pretty penny to have those things, but I think it's worth it. <laughs>